us. We are living in modern times. The solution to your problems is very simple. Excuse me. Modern people hardly get wealth, happiness, success, or loyalty. Why? Wrong habits lead to wrong people, suki. You don't live modern life. Modern life lives you, blade. Prima. Exactly. I will give you some rituals that will enrich you. You only have to follow them once a year. Number one, once a year, travel to your Rodina. Your roots will give you power. If your Rodina is a bad place for you, you also get power. Because you can come to peace with old conflicts. Number two, once a year go on a pilgrimage and God will walk with you for the whole year. Number three, once a year take a week to help those who carry the biggest burden in life and ask for nothing in return. Number four, once a year go into the wild to waken your instincts. If you can't survive with just a knife, you will not fear anyone in this life. And finally, of course, number five. Once a year, meet all your family, all your close friends, no matter how far in the world they are. Forget your money, your assets, your track record. Without your people, you are nothing. Это грим ритуалы. Шариш. Success is good rituals multiplied with good people around you. Be honorable. Be honorable, brother. You ask me for some rules. I give you some rules. You can achieve anything you want. Forget that American shit. You can achieve anything you want if you have a good team. People with soul. Number two, if you want to be strong, you have to smile at your weakness. Sir, stop with all. Three, have honor and respect. If you always run after the money, you are just prostitute, nothing else. For never forget your ancestors. They will honor you if you honor them. Number five, if you really want to know what life is about, you have to see the people who are dying. Six, Always keep your eyes open for everything invisible. Seven, if you don't believe in demons, you better start believing. You have to face them before they face you. Number eight, if you don't know what to do, close your mouth and listen to the silence. It will give you the best advice. And the last rule, of course, never trust the state, never trust the police, Suki. Trust only in yourself. And of course, in God. If you want to be more charismatic, there are some simple fixes. Number one, do not divide your attention. Always focus on one thing only. When you eat, you eat. When you listen, you listen. When you conquer, you conquer. 
Number two, if you want charisma, make decisions, stick to them and take the full responsibility. Then you are a leader. Then you are charismatic. Number three, listen first and speak second. If you have charisma, you are a good talker, but an even better listener, Bratan. Number four, do not try to be cooler than you are. Be calm, move forward, and admit your mistakes with love. We are all just human every fucking day. And finally, of course, number five, do not speak fast. Do not move fast. If you have charisma, you have the peace of God. And this peace is pure power. The word charisma comes from the Greek word charisma, which means gift from God. If you have a gift, if you have talents, they are not your gifts. They are not your talents. God gave it to you to do good for this world, not just yourself. This is Grim Hustle. Be honorable. Here are seven things I wish I knew in my 20s, when I was still young and hungry. The biggest mistakes come from too much talking. Be more silent. Number two, do not make debts or you will be a long time slave. Number three, do not make money, number one. Especially not in your 20s, suka. Number four, in business, in street and in jail. Cooperation will bring you more power than confrontation. Number five, if you want to make it big, find mentor. Not for weeks, but for years. Number six, not great ideas make success. Only success makes success. So be successful in small things and then use it build next bigger success. And the last rule, number seven, world is small. You see always people again. That's why always show respect every fucking day. That's it. Now go take care of business too. Be honorable. The step to go from a boy to a man is not simple. Here is my advice to grow strong. Number one, no matter if your father is strong or weak, at least one day in months, honor him. It will make you stronger. Number two, respect and listen to your father's expectations, but live your life as if your father was dead. Only with that mindset, you will become your own man. I promise you. Number three, once your father dies, honor is heritage, big or small. Number four, if you have children, do not overprotect them, but take them into the wild and then protect them as much as they need, but not more. Number five, find a strong vision and purpose in life and live it like a good father every fucking day. Number six, find and take advice from mentors. And finally, number seven, there is a father watching all over us. The power you put in God is the power God puts into you. Be honorable. Grim
Texas. Once I hit the situation that I want to find out if one of my associates was lying to me. So I start talking to the people around him to get clues, to get more information. If you want to find out truth, you have to use 99% comfort and 1% discomfort. 99% comfort. One, if you create stress, people do not access their memories so well, so create comfort. Two, sit people next to the door, not in the corner. There will be more psychological comfort there. Three, speak slow and with low tone. It will relax people. And finally, four, ask them where they come from, where they grew up. Most often it gives good associations and just asking about it, it creates connection to you. But now I will talk about 1% discomfort. I will tell you a story. In the 1990s, the mafia in Russia took over. They bought most of the factories and plants for pennies. But one old, rich, powerful man did not want to sell. So two mafia guys, worry, had a plan. They took an old bum from the street, said to them, today is your lucky day. They brought him to the best barber shop, cut the hair, trimmed the beard, and then they took the old bum to the best store and bought him a very nice blue Hugo Boss suit and some Dior perfume. Then they went with him to the old rich man who did not want to sell. He opened the door and the worry said, we want you to meet an old friend here in the suit. He also does not want to sell, what a shame. And then they st the old bum in the suit into the throat and he bled to on the doorstep. Suddenly the rich powerful man wanted to sell. I never liked these two mafia guys. So if you push for your agenda, stay true to your value. If you are pushed, if people want something from you, be prepared that they use the technique of comfort and discomfort on you and others. Life can be grim, but you can be honorable. I'm 60 years old and I don't have no day to waste in this life. So I simplify my life. Here is my advice of five rules for you. Number one, throw away or sell everything you have not used for one year, except your books and the suit for funerals. Number two, create a good daily routine for morning and evening and stick to it. Less decisions means more energy every fucking day. Number three, Stay away from small conflicts, even if you lose a bit of money. Only pick battle for things that will still matter in three years. Number four, automate your finances with fixed monthly investments and limit orders. Look at numbers once a month, not once a day. And finally, of course, number five, simplify your technology. Delete 10 apps in your phone right now. 90% of current technology makes us weaker, not stronger, Druk. Be honorable. Sometimes people ask me how to be success, how to be happy one. I have a very simple rules. One, you keep calm and follow your guts. Two, you never forget, I'm okay, you're okay. Number three, do it. Don't speak it, do it. Four, 
have a good team, no assholes. People with soul. Five, work hard. But one day in week, do not work. Six, only one thing in a time, concentrate. Seven, do not make money number one. You will not be success. You will be a stinking whore. And the last rule is, keep the word you speak. What you say will be done every fucking day. Sometimes people ask me, Trucha, are you a gangster? Are you an actor? I am nobody. I am nothing. I am the dust under shoes. I am worthless without people who have my back. And so are you. I don't care if you are poor or if you have money. I don't care if you have hundreds of millions. If you are not a part of a powerful circle where honor is more than money, you are still a nobody. I represent Grimm. Grimm is a bratwa with clear rules. If you are ready to follow our rules, you are not a dog, and you can be placed on you. Let us open the door to our door. Number one, trust only the Grimm. Members are selected for a reason. Grimm means honor. Number two, never lie to a Grimm. Never steal from a Grimm. You will lose, suka. Number three, if a Grimm is in town, he will always have a bed. Hospitality is honor. Number four, once in a year, go to the dark mountains with your fellow Grimm. Pilgrimage is honor. Number five, do not get divided over politics. <laughs> your brother is not always right, but your brother is always your brother. Number six, respect the old and teach the young. Mentorship is honor. Number seven, before asking for help, be of help. Serving is honor. Number eight, good business is offered first to a Grimm. Wealth is honor. Number nine, silence, my friend. Silence is your master. A Grimm will know what it means. And most important, number 10, whatever happens, never lose your calm. God is on our side. Be honorable. Does your life suck? Are you suffering? Are you in pain? Good. You are on a good path. Suffering is the only way to the top. Pain is the only way to change. Obstacles are the only way to success. American TV commercials made us believe that everything in this life should be smooth and easy. Counselors and teachers told us that we should not have aggressions and conflicts in life. You have been lied to. Go your way, Brata, and let it be an honorable way. A way that makes your ancestors proud. You will face pain on this way, suffering, frustration, humiliation. Accept the pain. Smile at the pain. Embrace the pain. Zbogam, pain is the gatekeeper of destiny. Pain is there to ask you one simple question. Do you really want to achieve your goals or are you just a talker? Tell your pain 
wherever you want to go. Pain will build the stairway to the top. This is Krim Hust. Be on. The following 10 insights will summarize your life. I will speak slowly, so your mind and your soul will understand. Number one, you were born in a cold prison. It is your country, your state. Number two, you have to pay for the prison stay. They call the prison fee taxes. Number three, you have no say what will be done with the money. But you have to pay. Number four, to pay the money, you have to work. The prison encourages you to buy new shiny products so you feel better about your poor existence. Number five, you are not allowed to exit the prison and live on your own. They will hunt you and make you pay. Number six, only a few prisoners have walked far enough to see the prison wall. Number seven, the prison gives you news and entertainment so that you don't discover the prison walls. Number eight, the prison does not allow strong family bonds or strong brotherhood unless you are a part of the group that is running the prison. Number nine, the prison you live in wants you weak, sick and divided because weak prisoners can't climb the walls. And most important, number 10, the prison is mostly run by other prisoners. It will collapse if enough prisoners will wake up. Go your way, Bratan. Reunite with others. Find the walls. Climb the walls every fucking day. This is the Grim Hustle. Be honored. Of course, I have advice for business and career, Druk. Number one, do not look at your competition so much. Why? It is more likely to die of suicide than of murder. You get it? Number two, you need at least seven years to become big. Only build business or career for what you want to work every fucking day for seven years in good time and in shit times. Number three, only work for products that people want and that you want. If you don't really want it, you will give up when the rain comes in your face. Number four, focus on one goal only and track this goal with one number that you update every week. This number can be hours that you study, revenue made, numbers of meetings. People lie, but number does not lie. Number five, watch out for fast talkers with big confidence. They seem smart and quick and will pressure you. My experience, most of them are full of shit. Number six, you have to envision in your mind your success. Forget it, American shit. You have to envision in your mind the bad times. Success will never come without bad times. And if you have envisioned, you have prepared. And finally, number seven, you, your willpower, your vision, your product is nothing without a good team. Take a good care of them. They are everything, not you. Be honorable. How to become financially independent? I have some simple rules for the good life. Number one, do not say yes to debts that are higher than inflation. The interest rate has to be lower 
than the inflation rate. Then you make money right away. Number two, pay off bad debts as fast as you can. What are bad debts? Bad debts has high interest rates. And bad debts are debts for consumer products. Always remember, you are not a consumer. You are a producer, Grim. Number three, you have to understand the difference between inflationary and deflationary assets. Inflationary assets are worth less in a year than today. For example, your iPhone, your Gucci bag, your dollars. Deflationary assets are worth more in a year than today. Your gold, your real estate, your Rolex Daytona. Use 75% or more of your money to buy deflationary assets. Number four, live very modest. Big spending or fleshy life are only for suki with low self-esteem or people building a Ponzi scheme. Number five, invest up to 5% from your profits in tax consultants. And finally, of course, number six, you have to enjoy your life a bit, but focus on expenses that you can deduct from the tax, like your nice car, your evening dinners, your travels. Everything is business, and business is everything. If you want to go deeper, hit link in video description. Life is cream. Be honorable. I have realized this only at an old age. Long live those who love. Hate blurs your view. Hate gives you energy, but takes your control. Hate will distract you from your mission, Grimm. Long live those who love. Love is the strongest force in the world. It does not matter if you want to have maximum power and wealth, or just a good family. Love will build bigger empires than hate. The wise man from the Hamburg Hells Angels Charter once told me, if you want to rule the street, you need 99% love and 1% violence. Long live those who love, love your family, your brothers and your Rodina. Also have love for your enemies. That's how it is more pleasurable to destroy them. Love yourself every fucking day. You deserve it. You are still here. Hate is an instrument of the puppet state to distract you. Hate narrows your vision so that you don't see what's going on in the background. Hate is for the distracted, for the manipulated ones, for the losers. Love is the only force of real power in this life. Long live those who love. Be honored. Do you want discipline? I give you some rules. Number one, start your day with a small ritual, like 10 push-ups. Then the day will start you. Number two, understand self-discipline is freedom and power in one. Number three, analyze your temptations. Is it alcohol? Is it drugs? Is it junk food? or social media. Remove temptations to build discipline. Out of sight, out of mind. Very simple. Number four, on the first half of the day, avoid social media and conversation with idiots. Save your energy on your purpose, Drug. Number five, if you want discipline, plan small steps, not big steps. If you have two big goals and cannot achieve, 
you have nothing and you kill your discipline. Number six, be humble. You are not special. You are not king of the world. You are not privileged. Humbleness, discipline, and willpower are different sides of one coin. And finally, number seven, make every day a promise to your ancestors to serve them. They will give you direction. They will give you discipline. They will give you willpower. Life is grim. Be honorable. Life is a battle between two forces. Concentration and distraction. With concentration, you will grow to power, to money, and to inner peace. Distraction is destruction, Bratan. Distraction is the shiny gate that will bring you into the slaughterhouse among millions of other sheep every fucking day. The antidote of distraction is not focus, it's honor. You will understand this soon. Will you go your own way, Bratan? Upright, strong, concentrated. Or will you be distracted? To protect your soul, I will give you the seven most dangerous distractions. Will you be distracted by collecting status symbols, pride, luxury, showing off? Will you be distracted by comfort, wanting to have it easy, soft, instant, convenient? Will you be distracted by lust, sexual pleasures like an addiction? Will you be distracted by your anger, your hate, your age? You think this is the source of your power? It is a rotten carrot that you eat every day. Will you be distracted by consumption? Eating, buying, playing, enjoying, getting fatter every day? No, my friend. Will you be distracted by envy, rankings, comparisons, constant competitions? No. You will go your own way, Grimm. Will you be distracted by technology? by the latest phones, gadgets, meaningless updates. No, my friend, you don't need the latest. You need the classiest. And finally, will you be distracted by greed? The addiction to money and power will not create more money and power. It will erode first your character, then your business, then your legacy. I repeat, the antidote of distraction is not focus, it's honor. I have had a few near-death experiences in my life. At the end of your life, you will have to answer to the higher power that gave you this life. Were you distracted? Or did you go your own way, Grim? Be honorable. I have seen the toughest people become depressed, broken, aimless. I have seen them break apart. Life gets grim for everybody at some point, Bratan. I have struggled myself a few times. I lost my compass for what is right. My compass for the path of life I destined to go. If you want to get your life on the right path, you need to get your feet on the right path. Your right path is the path of silence, the path of pilgrimage. I don't care if you believe in God or the devil. I don't care if you have sinned or killed. Every day you are not on the right path. You are sinning against yourself. You are killing who you are destined to be. I believe killing yourself is as bad as killing another human being. Get up now. Stay silent. And go on a pilgrimage. 
Find a good place anywhere on your map. It might be a monastery. It might be church. It just might be a dark forest. It is your destiny. Pack some bread, a bottle of water, and a good knife. And then walk, Grimm, walk. And stay silent. Silence is the strongest tool a man can possess. Silence will destroy all the nonsense, the chatter, the distraction. Silence will destroy what has been destroying your life. Silence will bring out your strengths, your honor, your direction in life, your direction for the path in life you're destined to go. If you walk in silence, God is working with you. Be honorable. I know how you feel, burnt out, lost, without direction, without purpose. Most of the younger generation feels this way. It is not their fault. It is the design of the modern world, the design of the puppet states and the puppet technology we are surrounded with. If you want a breakthrough in your life, I have a simple but elegant advice for you. Disappear for 33 days. Go to a place of the old world where silence and hospitality will embrace you. Go east, Pratan, not west. I will give you very specific places at the end of this message. If you disappear for 33 days in silence, you will receive some benefits, Pratan. Number one, disappear and leave your technology at home and you disconnected from many addictions. Number two, disappear and your vision and intuition will return to you. In silence, in nature, far away from the cities that eat your soul, you need a vision Without a vision, you are just a slave for those with a vision. Listen to that again. Number three, disappear and become a nomad for 33 days. A nomad who is thankful for sleeping on the hard floor or in the hammock in the forest. This is how you rebuild your resilience. This is how you rebuild appreciation for the smallest things in life. Number four, disappear and travel with little money. Go east. You will regain your values because you will live humbly in this time. You will see hospitality and generosity that will open your soul. Number five, disappear and keep your eyes open to other nomads walking the hard path. These are good people who take destiny in their hands like you. In a world where it is hard to find good people, you will have found them. Number six, disappear. And when you come back, rearrange your life. You will see what and who is truly necessary and what and who you can let go. Only then you can grow rich in your soul and in your business every fucking day. The best places to disappear are monasteries. And even if you have no face, do not worry. I also had no face and I was welcomed. I went to Mount Athos a holy place that follows the same values for a thousand years. The holiest place for all Orthodox Christians. But anyone of any religion is welcome, except women. Sorry, it is old rules. Disappear and find yourself and other good people along the way. Be honorable.
us. I look around and I see so many good men and women bleeding out. Bleeding out for a system that gives them nothing but a paycheck. You need honor. You need a soul. You need gold. You don't need a paycheck. A paycheck loses its value day by day. One dollar tomorrow is worth less than one dollar today. This is not a glitch. This is the design of money in a debt-based monetary system. Inflation is always part of the equation. Why was it set up this way? When your dollar is losing its value every day, you have to stay in a rat race. You are discouraged to save money. You are encouraged to consume. This depreciating system forced the masses to work for the whole life to survive. It keeps the hamster wheel turning. You don't need this system. What you need is decent values. What you need is your family and the loyal clan. What you need is love for God, no fear for death, and honor for your Rodina and your ancestors. You would not be here without their love and their sacrifice, Bratan. Forget all of the so-called values and goods of modern life. There is no love. There is no honor. Look at the phone you hold in your hands. You loved it when you first bought it. It was worth somebody's paycheck, and within just 36 months, it will be thrown away to the garbage. And a new device will be bought. That is amazing and cool, and you'll love it. And it will also lose its value within 36 months. Don't you see it? Everything in the modern world loses its value in a matter of months. Why does everything lose its value? Because the modern world has no values. It is a dark hole. You put in good people, good work, good souls. It is all sucked up and devalued. It is a depreciating system. Depreciating means that all assets lose their value until they are worth zero. In the modern world, assets, values, goods and people are consumed and devalued. Look at how the modern treats their old people, those who brought them to life, those who did the work. They are sent to rot in elderly homes, isolated. No honor, just death. Far away from the houses they built, far away from the people they raised with love and sacrifice. In the traditional world, the old people received the highest honor because they were the head of the families. They provided their wisdom and life experience. Everyone in the family benefited. Some people think that the traditional system is something from the past. They have no idea. Here is something ironic. Most high net worth family in the West do not live in the modern system, the depreciating system. Even today, they live in the traditional system with old values and appreciating assets. It's the appreciating system. This is the system where assets and people gain in value every fucking day. How is such a system built? Values are built with values. If you look at the powerful dynasties, fraternities and families in the world today, those who have billions and trillions, they all live in the appreciating system. They own appreciating assets, mines, real estates, farmland, companies. They conserve their values their traditions, their knowledge through the centuries, their value and honor their ancestors. 
you will not see much individualism here, also not in the rich Western families. Today, individualism is abused to isolate the masses. Yes, you need strong leaders. Everything starts with a strong independent individual. But over the years, the family power, the family name, and the family values are more important than any individual. Ego trips are dead ends. And I am not talking about traditional crime families, but Western families that own most of the world's economy. They don't think months and years ahead, but decades and centuries longer than the lifespans of their individuals. And whoever and whatever is allowed into their circles will prosper. All businesses that starts from within will grow because they leverage existing values, people and assets. This is an appreciating system. Over the centuries, some of the families and organizations have become so influential that they reached ultimate power. And this has devoured their values and corrupted them deep into their flesh. It has corrupted the same values that brought them to the very top. They have lost all their honor. Bury and forget those who have betrayed honor. Death and God will judge them. Focus not on whining and complaining, but on building. You have the strength in your arms. You have a quick mind and a white soul. When you unite with the like-minded under good values, you will create an unseen force. Together, everyone achieves more, but only if your values align. Times are grim, and it is time to build new appreciating systems where honor is more than just money. Systems that do not benefit the very top, like modernity, like Ponzi schemes, but all good people. Commit to decent values. At Grimm, we fused old virtues, outstanding people and powerful tech. This is why we founded the Grimm. This is the Grimm Manifesto. People wonder, who are all the Grimm founders? Let me give you some hints. We believe in honor and the soul. We have no respect for those who give up their integrity for money, suki. We live our lives putting honor over money, and it has made us very wealthy. We were early investors of Bitcoin, which is a modern example of an appreciating asset. We believe in freedom and independence and stand against all authoritarian powers from left to right. We are accomplished in the fields of blockchain, entertainment, fraternal organizations and entrepreneurship. We have founded something that combines entertainment, education, fraternity and entrepreneurship into something the world has not seen yet. The Grimm. Be honorable. We dominate global social media. We revolutionize entertainment. We build Trojan horses with subversive education. We are revolutionizing social member clubs. Unlike all modern member clubs, we put values and people over money. You cannot buy your way into the green no matter how much money you have. If you have no honor, you're still a nobody. And finally, we are building a gated economy and bring the honor and the soul back to the money. The honorable economy. I repeat, the honorable economy. Everything is connected with the grim values and we enforce them. We laugh at short-term monies and value only long-term gains. Everything we touch appreciates. In the Grimm, we have ranks. 
and only those move up the ranks who have proven themselves in one essential aspect. Help and advance your fellow people. I repeat, help and advance your fellow people. No ego, no greed, no indulgences. Just good people with dedication, purpose and soul. The ring and the symbols will tell you who is a grim and who isn't. Reap the harvest. The thirteenth card is our reminder. Memento mori, memento honorem. We are united under the grim values, and this is what it means to be honorable. Number one, keep the word you speak. What you say will be done every fucking day. This is reliability. Просто делай это, брата. Number two, organize yourself every day. Outer order creates inner order. Number three, you have a responsibility and mission in this life. Do not make money, number one. You will not be a success. You will be a stinking war, nothing else. Number four, in business, in street, and in jail, Cooperation will bring you more power than confrontation. Serve your mission, not your ego, Grimm. Number five, your word is your honor. If you break it, it breaks you. This is sincerity. Number six, be concise. The best men are usually those who speak little. A man who speaks too much is not to be trusted. Number seven, you are nothing. You know nothing and you have nothing. Keep this mindset. No matter how much success you have, it will make you open and humble and hungry. Number eight, keep your group, your family, your clan, independent of everything that undermines your traditions, your values, your free speech and your honor. Freedom is not negotiable. Number nine, forget the frail, the mediocre, as you also have to forget perfection. Excellence means you give your full power and concentration, 100%. If you cannot do that, don't do it at all. Number 10, work hard. But one day in week, do not work at all. Close your mouth, close your technology. This will open your mind, your vision, your soul. Раз в неделю. Тихо. Number 11. Sacrifice. To gain something, give something. Give everything, but never sacrifice your values. Number 12. Serve. Before asking for help, be of help. We all grow in mutual advancement. Number 13. A Grim will always have a safe house and a bed all over the world. Hospitality is honor. Number 14. Distrust technology as all forms of centralized power are to be distrusted. Не верь власть, братан. Не верь власть. Number 15. Honor your Rodina and honor and protect the wild, our oldest Rodina. Природа, святой. Number 16. Find a mentor, grow, and one day be a mentor. But even as a master, you are just a student. Number 17. The biggest mistakes come from too much talking. Control your ego. Control your emotions, control your words, or you will burn the wood that you collected to survive all winter. Следи за базаром. Number 18. Others' actions and words reflect their reality much more than your reality. Spit on their judgment as long you have acted with honor and love. 
This is emotional resilience. Number 19, respect the elders, the founders, those who came before you and laid the groundwork. Their words count more than yours. This is obedience. But be disobedient to those powers that demand your loyalty but have no values themselves, Suki. Number 20. If money will compromise honor, you will first lose your honor and then your money. Say no to the dishonorable money. Be incorruptible. Number 21. Your brother is not always right, but your brother is always your brother. This is loyalty. This is tolerance. Two sides of the same coin. Number 22. If you don't know what to do, close your mouth and listen to the silence. What is inside is deeper than what is outside. Meditate and contemplate every fucking day. Number 23. Through silence, you will get to know yourself and the goals of your soul. Follow them with all your force. This is determinants. Number 24. Silence also means secrecy. What is in the grim stays in the grim. We make sure of that. Okay. <laughs> Number 25. If you want to be understood, ask questions. Leaders always will ask more questions than they give commands. Who questions leads. Number 26. It is easier to ignite a fire than to control it. Mediation and de-escalation is a high virtue. And in case of conflict, never speak in writing but always in speech. Control the fire with your presence. Number 27, follow good rituals. Rituals have one purpose, to strengthen you and your connections to those who help you. They protect you as above, so below. Rituals are habits with soul. Number 28, protect your family and honor family values. The wife of a Grimm is your sister. Protect the family of a Grimm as if it's your own. The Number 29, honor death. If you want to know what life is about, you have to see and help the people who are dying. Death is the mentor who gives life its meaning. And finally, of course, number 30. Everything that you have, you owe to God, to your people, and to your ancestors who made you possible through their love and sacrifice. They will honor you if you honor them. Your values shape your deeds. Your deeds shape your character. Your character shapes your network. Your network shapes your net worth, your life, your legacy, as Bogom. Be honorable. Do you want discipline? I give you some rules. Number one, start your day with a small ritual, like 10 push-ups then the day will start you. Number two, understand self-discipline is freedom and power in one. Number three, analyze your temptations. Is it alcohol? Is it drugs? Is it junk food or social media? Remove temptations to build discipline out of sight, out of mind. Very simple. Number four, on the first half of the day, avoid social media and conversation with idiots. Save your energy on your purpose, Drug. 
Number five, if you want discipline, plan small steps, not big steps. If you have two big goals and cannot achieve, you have nothing and you kill your discipline. Number six, be humble. You are not special. You are not king of birth. You are not privileged. Humbleness, discipline, and willpower are different sides of one coin. And finally, number seven, make every day a promise to your ancestors to serve them. They will give you direction. They will give you discipline. They will give you willpower. Life is grim. Be honorable.